It's a beauty. Ah, look at this X-Men. All done. We think the guy is going to find this just terrific. Spent a lot of time on this. The picture's just rock steady, but we're not here to talk about X-Men. We are here to show you this beautiful fully LED cue ball wizard. Jason has spent hours on this. These bulbs are still lighting, so I don't think there's an issue. There is just a little bit of dirt on there, but other than that, now this, this, uh, the, the display is very clear. You see, you, it's so clear you can actually see wiring. It's just unbelievable. Now these special balls here are the new Crusho balls. These are important for a factory when you're doing a factory job. Ah, the new owners are here now. Come and look at your beauty. We spent so much time on this. You're just gonna love it. Look, what do you think? We're not taking this, it's terrible. Oh, but you only need one flipper. I mean, but, but, uh, uh, it's like a bottle uh, in the middle of it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what a dream. Let me show you a beautiful game. Look at this. It's our 38th cue ball wizard. Unbelievable. We've sold a ton of these. And this one is just beautiful. Now, that's supposed to be a likeness of Clint Eastwood, but there's no rights paid. So it's just a cowboy. It's not Clint Eastwood, but you'll see we've dialed it up with some uh, chrome T molding that's still covered with the, the protective piece rather than the original black. We buffed up the rails. We've done a combination of two uh, cue ball wizards to make one. That's right. There's the other one. It's a wreck. It is a wreck and it has become an official parts machine. But because of this machine, we were able to get enough stuff to make every single plastic on this play field absolutely perfect. The only thing we had, we had to do a ramp repair, but all these plastics are perfect with no cracks because we were able to put the two together to make one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Steven, yeah, I pay you all this money. You missed, money. you missed this spot right there. What the hell's going on? Are you stupid or something? It's the most powerful right hand in Southampton. Take your head clean off. You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Oh, oh, oh Stephen. You know, if you're not careful, you're not careful, I'll start pounding you. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> we couldn't resist. We couldn't resist. I mean, come on, it's Clint Eastwood. Clint's the man. And it even sounds like him when you start it. Uh, let's look at what, what we've done. Jason is actually out on the delivery. We do send that boy out occasionally. He and Tony are way up in New York, four hours away. They're delivering the games we posted last night. Four different games. So they're up on uh, YouTube now. So he can't show you all the wonders he's done. He's put high power red here, high power green here and back and on the side here, and then high power red here. However, we've lit white, high power white here to shine this way on the play field. Don't play around, I can go back to work. <sighs> My Steven. <laughs> Let's show you some other things too. We now have in the back here, you can see LEDs. Let's put the, the red for the girl here. We had the blue here at the bottom, where our blue jeans are. We put new capacitors in the high voltage section. We have a lithium battery here that's easy to change. The original one was soldered in. This one is easy to switch. Steven, I'm gonna ask you to get that. Let phone. me get the phone. Ooh. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, TNT. Go ahead. Make my day. Okay. Right in the front? Anyway. Uh, oh, side of the cap. Look at that. Um, can't see it with your arm in there. Oh, can't. Your big gut. Oh, oh I, it's smaller. <laughs> smaller than a Buick, maybe. Look, isn't it beautiful? 
We've put, we've also put new cabinet switches, all new parts in the flippers, and as you can see, we've laid the game out the correct way, in my opinion. The cue ball is here because the cue stick hits the cue ball. Oh, by the way, a brand new cue stick. I still have a few left. They're not for sale. I actually bought a I bought a distributor out. And he had a bunch of these, and we're down to just maybe four or five left, and that's it. And I put the eight ball here because I think of this as the cue ball hitting the eight ball. See, that's how I think of it. However, the customer can do that if he wants. <laughs> But we're going to leave it that way. Anyway, terrific game, loaded with stuff. Oh, John Norris programmed this. What a clever, clever machine. That man loaded this with programming. He did everything he can. When you hit this switch, it'll change your center here. See, you're playing no way round. Now you're playing the spell book. And all these different rounds light up on the field in different places. Your bank shot's way up here. Nice bank shot. You know what else I really liked about this game is John put two slingshots uh, bumpers up here too. Oh, and did you know Gottlieb has a great thing built into every it's System so 3? Very clever. Do you know a lot of games will start to do this? Guess what? See? It shut this off. It's still giving you a buy points. But it shut off the feature when it started motorboating. Other machines, like that. But this, computer shuts it off until you fix the problem or it resets and it'll turn the feature back on. So clever. Oh, God, very, very clever. Why did anybody else do that? I still don't know. Also, you can't see them, but they're here. Our clear washers from ICE. Lexan washers, it's much easier to buy the damn things than to, <laughs> than to make them. And they look nice, rather than these stupid uh, people put you know, metal washers on and stuff. You know, we put clear ones on. Then you can see the plastics. These plastics will never break again. I think this customer is going to be very, very happy. Once again, you're shot, you try to hit the center, like I did. It's a cue ball. <laughs> uh, now, of course, here, the ball is blocking this. Now, these two switches and these two switches will work simultaneously. Let's suppose you lost the ball. If you lost this ball, you can set the computer so you don't have to have the ball in there. So the lower switches will act as the top switches. So they actually program that in just in case something went wrong with the ball or it got lost or something. But otherwise, you'd never be able to make some of the shots. Very clever. Somebody was thinking at Gottlieb. Anyway, uh, have we covered everything? We Now you see the, the old one, and now you see the new one. But uh, I think it came out really nice. Our customers are driving from Ohio to pick this baby up. They should be here any minute. Hello. Hello. Oh, we've been expecting you. Oh, great. You know, the game only needs another half hour's worth of work. But come back here and I'll show you how nice it turned out. Okay, great. Wait until you see it. Oh, it is beautiful. Here we go. I'll bet you are. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Look at it. Doesn't it look? Perfect. I mean, and I even yeah. wired it up for overseas power. We spent hours polishing the play field. How are you going to... This well, doesn't look like it is a half an hour. Well, it just, we have to put everything back on. See, I have to change some of these rubbers. I need I need a flipper, and I think this plastic piece is missing. Uh, see, but the... Uh, I don't know about that. No, it's not a dream. It's back here. Yay. I fooled everybody again, didn't I? There it is. Oh, yay! There is your beauty. It looks awesome. It's perfect. And it is a beaut. Wow. It's got two flippers. Look at that. It yeah, two cool. instead of one. <laughs> looks brand new. <laughs> and now they're off to Ohio. Yay. A long yes. drive, an eight hour drive, right? Yes. Good. Well, we wish you luck with your new toy. You're going to have a lot of fun with this baby. Looks great. And we think uh, we have everything in place. Yeah, I just want to put the glass in and out they go. We're going to load them up and go. <laughs> Thanks, folks. You could ask yourself a question. 
do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs>